God's word is timeless. It's for every generation. Don't buy into the lie. Well, that's Old Testament. No, he is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Listen, I still remember things my grandma told me not to do. If anybody else besides me, I still remember her telling me, don't do that. It's just like the word of God. With what it will say, Grandma, Grandma, oh, she don't went on the glory. But I still remember her telling me, don't do it. Are you listening to me? So they became rules and boundaries and mindsets that kept me out of a lot of drama. That's what this word would do. This word will keep you out of a lot of drama. And when you sit down and tell your kids this word, this word is a seed and it gets planted in the soil of their heart. And as they begin to look into this word, as they begin to think about this word, as they begin to praise this word, that seed in their heart begins to germinate and it begins to bring the character of God into their hearts for moral living excellence in society. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It's this word. It's alive. The words of men are just that. It's only this word that's alive and powerful and sharper than any two as it's so. It cut going in and heals coming out. It's the power of this word. It's the word of God. 